The Shenzhou-19 mission was successfully launched on October 29, 2024, from the Jiaquan Satellite Launch Center in China. The mission used a long March 2nd-F rocket, which lifted off at 4.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 2027 GMT, 4.27 a.m. October 30th Beijing Time. Aboard the Shenzhou-19 spacecraft are three astronauts. 1. Commander Kai Shuja, 48 years old, Kai is a veteran astronaut who was previously part of the Shenzhou-14 mission. 2. Rookie astronaut Song Lingdong, 34 years old, a former Air Force pilot. 3. Rookie astronaut Wang Haozhe, 34 years old, a spaceflight engineer. Objectives and Activities the Shenzhou-19 crew is scheduled to conduct 86 experiments during their six-month stay on the Tiangong space station. These experiments cover a wide range of scientific and technological fields, including studies on the effects of microgravity on human health and biological processes, research on the behavior of physical forces in a microgravity environment, testing and validating new technologies for future space missions, the astronauts will conduct multiple spacewalks, extravehicular activities, or AVAs, to perform maintenance tasks, install new equipment, and conduct external experiments. One of the key tasks will be the installation of protective devices against space debris on the space station. A unique aspect of the Shenzhou-19 mission is the Space Farm project. The crew will attempt to grow plants in space, with specific focus on continuing Kai Shuja's previous lettuce growing project from his Shenzhou-14 mission. Song Lingdong plans to cultivate sweet potatoes, adding a gardening touch to the mission. Technology involved. Advanced life support systems are crucial for sustaining the crew during their extended stay on the space station. These systems include air and water recycling, waste management, and health monitoring technologies. The Shenzhou-19 spacecraft is equipped with state-of-the-art navigation and docking systems, ensuring a safe and precise rendezvous with the Tiangong space station. The Long March 2nd F rocket, known for its reliability, was used for the launch. Since the Shenzhou-12 mission, a second rocket has been kept on standby at the launch center for potential rescue missions. This ensures that the crew can be quickly and safely returned to Earth in the event of an emergency. The space station is equipped with a variety of scientific instruments and experimental facilities to support the 86 planned experiments. These instruments include advanced microscopes, spectrometers, and other specialized equipment. The Shenzhou-19 mission, which is part of China's ongoing human spaceflight program, is a significant step in the country's ambitious space exploration efforts. The mission is expected to build upon the successes of previous Shenzhou missions and further solidify China's position as a leading space power. Significance of Shenzhou-19 1. Crewed Mission to Tiangong Space Station The mission involves sending a crew of astronauts to the station to conduct scientific experiments, perform maintenance, and further develop the station's operational capabilities. The crew is expected to spend several months on the space station, engaging in a wide range of scientific and technological experiments. This extended stay will help China gain valuable experience in long-duration space missions, which is essential for future deep space exploration. 2. Technological Advancements each Shenzhou mission contributes to the development and refinement of life support systems, which are critical for sustaining human life in space. Shenzhou-19 will likely test and improve these systems, making them more reliable and efficient. The mission will also involve complex spacecraft docking procedures and extravehicular activities, which are essential for maintaining and expanding the space station. 
These activities will further demonstrate China's technical prowess in space operations. 3. Scientific Research The astronauts on Shenzhou-19 will conduct a variety of scientific experiments, ranging from materials science and biology to Earth observation and astrophysics. These experiments will contribute to the global scientific community and may lead to breakthroughs in various fields. While China's space program has traditionally been more independent, there are growing indications of increased international collaboration. Shenzhou-19 opens new avenues for cooperation with other space agencies and countries, fostering a more collaborative global space environment. 4. Implications for Global Space Dynamics 1. Enhanced Global Presence The successful execution of Shenzhou-19 further enhances China's reputation as a leading space power. It also demonstrates the country's commitment to advancing space technology and exploration, potentially inspiring other nations to increase their own space investments. China's growing presence in space can also have diplomatic implications, as it may use its space achievements to strengthen international relations and partnerships. 2. Competition and Cooperation The Shenzhou-19 mission is part of a broader context of international space competition, particularly with the United States and other major spacefaring nations. It may intensify the space race, but it also opens opportunities for collaboration and shared scientific endeavors. As China continues to expand its space capabilities, it will play a more significant role in shaping global space governance. This includes participating in international discussions on space law, debris management, and the peaceful use of space. 3. Economic and Technological Benefits The space industry is a significant driver of economic growth, and China's advancements in space technology can lead to new industries and job opportunities. Shenzhou-19 will contribute to this economic momentum by fostering innovation and technological development. Many technologies developed for space missions have applications on Earth, such as in telecommunications, navigation, and environmental monitoring. The innovations from Shenzhou-19 could have far-reaching benefits for society. 4. Key Moment Installation of Simulated Lunar Soil Bricks for Future Moon Habitat Research The crew successfully installed and exposed bricks made from simulated lunar soil on the exterior of the Tiangong Space Station. This experiment is a pivotal decision that could significantly influence future space endeavors, particularly in the realm of lunar exploration and habitat construction. The primary goal of this experiment is to test the durability and feasibility of bricks made from simulated lunar soil as a potential building material for future habitats on the Moon. The bricks will be exposed to the harsh conditions of space, including vacuum, extreme temperature fluctuations, and radiation, to assess their performance and longevity. The installation was carried out during a series of spacewalks, AVAs, conducted by astronauts Song Lingdong and Wang Haozi. The spacewalks were meticulously planned and executed with the support of Commander Kai Shuja, who coordinated the activities from inside the space station. The bricks were placed in a specially designed exposure module that can monitor and record the environmental conditions and the physical changes in the materials over time. If the bricks proved to be viable, they could revolutionize the way habitats are constructed on the moon. Using local materials, such as lunar soil, would reduce the need to transport building materials from Earth, making lunar colonization more feasible and cost-effective. The experiment will provide valuable scientific data on the behavior of lunar soil in space, contributing to our understanding of the moon's geology and the potential for in-situ resource utilization ISRU, in future missions. The successful installation and monitoring of the BRICS demonstrate China's advanced capabilities in space technology, particularly in the areas of materials science and space engineering. The data from this experiment will be crucial for planning future lunar missions, including China's ambitious goal to land humans on the Moon by 2030. It could also inform the design and construction of lunar bases and other infrastructure. The success of this experiment may encourage international collaboration in lunar exploration and habitat development. Other space agencies and private companies may be interested in adopting similar technologies and materials for their own lunar projects.
The decision to conduct this experiment on the Tiangong Space Station is a strategic move by China to advance its lunar exploration goals. By focusing on the practical aspects of building and sustaining a human presence on the moon, China is positioning itself as a leader in space technology and exploration. The success of this experiment could not only benefit China's space program but also contribute to the global effort to explore and utilize the moon's resources. China's space program has made significant strides in recent years, but it also faces several challenges in establishing a dominant presence in space. These challenges include competition from other nations, technological hurdles, and the complex dynamics of international space governance. Here's a detailed look at these challenges. 1. Competition from other nations. The United States remains the world's leading space power, with advanced capabilities in areas such as satellite technology, human spaceflight, and deep space exploration. NASA's Artemis program, aimed at returning humans to the moon and eventually sending them to Mars, is a significant challenge to China's lunar ambitions. U.S. commercial space companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others have established a strong presence in the market, particularly in satellite launches and space tourism. SpaceX's Starlink constellation, for example, is a major competitor to China's plans for large-scale commercial satellite networks. Russia has a long history of space exploration and continues to be a significant player, particularly in human spaceflight and space station operations. The International Space Station ISS, is a collaborative effort involving Russia, and the country's expertise in space technology remains a formidable challenge for China. The European Space Agency ESA, and other space agencies, such as those of Japan and India, are also making significant contributions to space exploration. Collaborative missions and international partnerships can sometimes outpace the efforts of individual nations, including China. 2. Technological Hurdles Establishing a sustainable human presence in space, such as on the Tiangong Space Station, requires advanced life support systems, reliable spacecraft, and robust emergency protocols. China is still in the process of developing and testing these technologies. Missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond require sophisticated spacecraft, precise navigation, and long-term mission planning. China has made progress with its Chang'e lunar missions and the Tianwen-1 Mars mission, but these are still relatively new ventures compared to the extensive experience of the United States and Russia. The increasing amount of space debris poses a significant risk to all spacefaring nations. China must develop and implement effective debris mitigation strategies to ensure the safety and sustainability of its space missions. The environmental impact of space activities, including rocket launches and satellite disposal, is a growing concern. China needs to balance its ambitious space goals with environmental responsibility. 3. International Space Governance the existing framework for space governance, including international laws and regulations, has not kept pace with the rapid technological advancements and the increasing number of actors in space. China must navigate this complex landscape to ensure its activities are in compliance and to avoid conflicts. While China has shown some willingness to collaborate on space projects, particularly with countries that are not part of the US-led space community, it faces challenges in building trust and forming robust partnerships. The United States and its allies are wary of China's intentions and often view its space activities with skepticism. The broader strategic competition between the United States and China extends to space, making it difficult to achieve meaningful cooperation. The confrontational nature of U.S.-China relations can lead to a lack of transparency and trust, complicating efforts to establish norms and rules for space activities. Space is increasingly becoming a domain of military competition. Both the United States and China are developing and deploying military assets in space, which can lead to tensions and potential conflicts. Ensuring that space remains a peaceful domain is a significant challenge for all spacefaring nations. 19. The Shenzhou-19 mission is a significant milestone in China's space exploration efforts, demonstrating the country's growing capabilities and commitment to advancing space technology. The mission's focus on scientific research, technological innovation, 
and international collaboration will not only enhance China's position in the space race but also contribute to the global effort to explore and utilize space. By bridging the gap between manned space missions and lunar exploration, Shenzhou 19 sets the stage for China's future space endeavors and its role as a leading space power. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's space explorations and advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.